Guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFreaks.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. Listen, guys, just because you're a developer doesn't mean you have to work for a company. You can open up your own company. You can open up your own software as a service. You can create your own content online. You can do tutorials, do blogs, do uh, tutoring. Do There's so many things that you can do as a developer. So I'm bringing you guys here basically my top websites that I think if you create a product this is where you need to get it to become popular or successful or you know just viral you know what I mean like this one of one of my favorite websites and I always check it out just to see what other developers are coming up with basically this website is called producthunt.com pretty much every developer who's out there independent either uh, applications developer uh, mobile apps or you know just a web developer right basically they all come here whenever they have a a, a service that they wanted to let the know uh, let the world know about right they usually come here to product hunt release it here see how the people react see how other developers feel about it and this is a pretty cool place man because not only do you get to see what other people are working on, it's like it's also motivational. You know what I mean? Like you could come here, like look at this. This is pretty cool. Somebody came up with like an augmented reality type of a ruler. So pretty much you can you can measure something in the air. You know what I mean? Like you could just go like that, drag it, and basically measure it, and automatically it gives you how many inches it is, or how many feet it is, or you know how many centimeters like that's pretty cool guys like you know what I mean like there's a lot of cool things that developers are building now what do you think do you think this guys is gonna make it and they're gonna become popular well they already number one on upvote right which means that a lot of developers already seen them so then from there that people start sharing this idea and sharing this uh, project this uh, this application next thing you know this thing is you know in the top 20 top 50 uh, apps on a phone app or um, Android app or iOS app you know what I mean like now calculate that how much you think those guys gotta be making after that you know what I mean like this is probably some guy in his house with him and two other people probably created this app now the guys probably gonna make like at least you know eight hundred thousand just from this product a month right or even a year even if he makes eight hundred thousand dollars a year from this product this is one product you know what I mean like this is just one single app imagine when you start stacking up a whole bunch of different apps how much money you make you know look at the guy who created uh, Flappy Bird he was making fifty thousand dollars what was it not a week a month fifty thousand dollars a month like that's a lot of money you know what I mean and that's independent money right now I'm giving you guys the websites that I think if you create a project in your house right or you create a project in your own office or whatever something that you own right and you now you want to share it to the world here are the websites that I think you need to share it to send you know share it to product come for, for sure uh, you could share like let's say you create a brand new framework or a brand new library you can come to site point send them a, a email set, tell them like hey I want to write a blog for you guys and basically um, show a tutorial on how to use your your library and then now all the other developers get to find out about your your library how do you think you know you got all these frameworks popping up and becoming popular and, and there'll be like a whole bunch of libraries that you be like wait what this library has 10,000 stars on github how do they have that well people write good articles and then after they write good articles they give a link to the github and the next thing you know now the github uh, project already has like 10,000 stars a lot of times people don't even check them to see if if the project is legit or it even works it's just about the promotion and the marketing so you got sitepoint.com then you got echo js where almost anybody can come here and share a library or or anything and people just upvote it or downvote it like you know you got react there's something react beautiful drag and drop you know so somebody created this 
and then now he's sharing it on on echo js let's see how many stars he got he just released it got 3000 stars you know what i mean so now your project is becoming more and more popular people start sharing it you know so it's pretty cool you got echo js of course you got the the big boys now this is when you want to take it to the next level a lot of times you can't get here unless you're already making a wave on the internet meaning you're viral you're you have a company you have legit uh vcs um you know you gotta have a real company a lot of times to to make it to this website so you got TechCrunch, which is pretty much the bubble of san francisco so it's like you create a project or a software as a service that other businesses and other companies are going to use this is definitely the place where you want to show up at right of course you got TechCrunch. now from there you got the next web the next web is cool because it's more like a blog and more regular people come here it's not just developers it's other people who, who come here too and basically what's cool about it is like let's say i come up with a, a cool app right if i get a placement on the on next web i know that's at least fifty thousand a hundred thousand people that are gonna watch my product right and once they watch my product they can use it they can you know go download in the app store go do whatever so thanks to this website it just makes my my application be known out there to the masses not just to the developers not just to you know the the developers community but also to the regular people the consumer all right then from there you have reddit reddit is like it's like the place where you know you're gonna find uh cool things and you're also gonna find a, a cute cat you know what i mean like now of course the problem with reddit is that the moderators have a lot of power meaning you know joe schmo uh in his house in his basement he he got granted the power of moderator so now because he's a moderator if you share something here he's like oh that's self-promotion oh this is this and that so they always trying to shut down the the new people coming in so what i would say is try to make yourself um show up in one of these websites from product con site point echo js tech crunch uh the next web and then submit it to reddit all right okay guys so yeah man this this are my like my top tips to become viral online or releasing a a, a service online as a developer you know I, I always tell you guys guys you don't have to stay stuck to a company like you once you become uh, somebody in this world meaning like you've been put into work you've worked in a couple of projects you you have the skills you don't have to stay there you you could come out with your own ideas make your own money you know create your own companies like you don't have to stay in just one company you could also branch out because we have a gift we have a skill that not a lot of people have so if you have a creativity or you have you found like you know the the solution to a problem like let's say you work in, in a company like you know in my last company where we I was working on like pretty much they were paying I don't know like eight hundred dollars a month or something like that for a pop-up like I know you've gone you guys gone to to different websites and then as soon as you scroll down a pop-up shows up and be like hey enter your email and we will send you a coupon and this and that to do that they had to pay money like I don't know like four hundred to eight hundred dollars a month just for that so you telling me there's a guy who created this service and it's now selling it online and telling people hey I will create a uh, I will give you a pop-up that is gonna show up and I don't know two minutes after the person is on the page you telling me none of us can create something like that you know how easy that is like you just put a set time out to 10 minutes like literally I mean of course it's not that simple there's different things you know cookies and different little things that you got to work with but it's a very simple service and people are charging eight hundred dollars right so it's like you guys can do that you guys can come up with something where like let's say you work in 
in a construction company and you find out that they need a certain type of website to maintain uh i don't know the the inventory of like uh machineries or something right you can create that and sell that to all the other uh, um, construction companies. Like, it's, that's how it works. That's how business is, kids. You know what I mean? So don't get stuck in one place where you're thinking in your head, I'm only going to be a developer. No, you have a gift. You are a developer. You are a creator. So make sure you use it for yourself and for your family and, you know, for your friends. You know what I mean? Like create something that people are going to enjoy and it's going to bring profit to you. All right, guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingPhase.com. Guys, listen, like I said, check out my website, CodingPhase.com. I have a couple of courses there that's going to help you out, become a better developer. If you're somebody who just started from zero or you've been, uh, you know, trying to get into this and you're like, man, I, I can't figure it out, man. You check out my website, CodingPhase.com. And trust me, you're going to be good. You're basically going to learn all the things that you need to become a successful developer. And at the same time, you get to, you know, see something that not a lot of different, uh, you know, a lot of different instructors have. Like, I break down things very easy. I break it down in a way where you could understand it and anybody can understand it. I'm telling you guys, I just taught my, my nephew the other day, you know, how to code. And he's only like 10, 11 years old. Like, and he understands all the concepts. Like, I break it down. If he can't understand it, you guys should not have any issues. The thing is not that hard, guys. It's all about dedication and just putting in the time. All right, guys. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And just check the description below, man. Always, there's always, 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 there's going to be discounts for you guys. So, just because you find me on YouTube. Okay? So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.